Thanks for joining me here in my shop. I'm going to be uh, checking a few voltages in this radio before I get to work on it and start changing out some of these capacitors. So, uh, radio itself I tested and there's virtually no output from it. Very, very, very weak. And it does seem to be working, but very, very weakly. So, but before I start making changes, I think it's a smart idea to <clears throat> take a few tests in here anyway. So, Switch on the radio here. There we go. And I've got my voltmeter just about ready to go. Okay, and, the, and the main thing I'm interested in, of course, is the B. So I'm on the 500 volt scale on this meter. And we'll go right after the B here, right away. There it is, 240. This will give me another chance to generally test the radio too. Now that's 240 on a restricted voltage supply, and around uh, 100, and <coughs> excuse me, around 100 volts being supplied to the radio. So let's look and make sure that voltage is showing up on some of the other tubes. there. That's only uh, 75 volts. That's all. And now I'm going to test either side of a bunch of these capacitors. filter capacitors here. What I'm looking for is any capacitors that have voltage on both sides of them. Oh. Okay, so this is a horrible looking one down here. <coughs> High voltage on one side and Okay, watch this now. So on this side, you see the 220 uh, B plus. And on the other side, you see 15, uh, 15 volts. So that's almost certainly voltage leaking through this capacitor. Try this one here. So that's, I'm going to guess, and I have to look at the schematic, but it could be leaking up onto the grid. Okay, so another effect there. Let's watch. Watch the uh, meter. Okay, did you see that? It leaped up, sank back, not quite to zero. So that capacitor is also leaking. Okay. There's the uh, ABC voltage there. This one might be leaking too a little bit. Okay, I got my meter set on negative, so it'll go upscale on the supply side to make it more sensitive on the so yeah I'd even that the meter came up and relaxed back as the meter draws away a bit of a charge it's the other side I'm more interested in though so this is very small voltage 1.5 volt scale so that's about uh, a little over 0 0.5 0 0.6 volts now on the other side watch the meter again went up a little wee bit and then fell back so I, you know that's an indication this guy's leaking too not too much surprise in 
any of this. Except I didn't find any large voltages up here. Oop. My meter back to positive here. And that's kind of a weird voltage. That's on the 500 volt scale, so that's 60 volts. That's a little weird. Uh, this capacitor, I believe, is to ground on this side. So this thing could be leaking and drawing down the voltage. Don't know. Can't tell for sure. But uh, pretty good evidence of leaks in the capacitors down here. There we go. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go after what looks like the worst capacitor. Uh, this one here. Uh, it looks bad, works bad according to my test. He's a bad guy. I'm going to cut him out. Plugged while I'm doing this kind of stuff. You know what? I think I want to put this guy right on the tester. It's got a blob of wax coming out here. Ah, looks terrible. 0.01. Okay, I'm willing to bet $100 that this capacitor is leaking like a sieve, like an electron sieve. 100 bucks on the line. Last time I made a bet, I lost 20 cents. Of course, nobody collects, so it's not so bad. Okay, looking to see the gap in here, I know it's very hard to see on camera. There we go. 25 volt. Oh my gosh, I didn't test. Uh oh, oh. I got 100 bucks at risk on this. Here we go, 150. Okay. Not quite as bad as I thought, but no good at uh, any kind of voltage, really. 25. No, no reason to measure its value when it's leaking like that. So there we go. 0.01. 0.01. So I went to a Pan Am softball game, Venezuela against Argentina, and uh, Venezuela won the game, men's softball. And uh, it, was, it was great. Oh boy, this is...
So over um, a million tickets have been uh, sold for the uh, various sports. Many, many, many sports. Many more than uh, in the Olympics. And I've got tickets to another another uh, event. I'd tell you what it is if I knew. <laughs> Okay, my, my wife got the tickets. I don't even know what it's for. Might be another another softball, maybe the women's uh, softball, which is being played here near my home. That's why we're going to uh, softball games. And the weather has turned very hot and humid here. So I better not complain about that since I complained about it being uh, cool for... for uh, so many times you've heard me complain about it here. I happen to live very close to Lake Ontario. Lake Ontario is a gigantic lake. It's very deep. And uh, it doesn't warm up much in the summer. And it keeps my house a little bit cool here. It's very nice, actually. So even on the hot, sweltery days, it's not what it's like here at least earlier in the summer. Later in the summer, the uh, cooling effect isn't quite so strong. So. It'll be interesting to see if this one capacitor makes a big difference in the operation of the radio, because I haven't checked, but I have a feeling it was the grid that's being pushed positive with this one. I'm not sure. Okay. I plan to check the uh, radio after every capacitor change, especially these, these ones down here that I'm pretty sure are bad. And, uh,. See what the improvement is. I really should find it on the schematic. But first, I'd have to find the schematic. Okay, that might be a good idea. Sort of stuck. Hard to get my uh, soldering iron in there. Get it positioned for good heat transfer.
yeah, you can kind of see a, uh, the way the solder is around the wire there. Yeah. It didn't grab onto that resistor lead at all. here. Got it. Good. Hey, let's try out the radio. Um, now we'll see here. Capacitor number one. Okay, on restricted power. tube that this is uh, we're working on here I'm sure is the output tube. Pretty sure it's the output tube. The other side Still coming up a bit. How do you like that? Yeah, yeah. I'd have to look at the schematic really to start analyzing this better. So I think that's what I'm going to do next. I'm going to grab the schematic, and maybe uh, go over it on video too, where we change too many capacitors and not, not conscious enough of, of uh, which capacitor it is and what effect I can expect from it. So the reason I'm doing this, one capacitor at a time, test it, test the radio, is of course I'm trying to learn better. And that's, uh, that's the best way to do it. So that's number one. 